Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense. I keep it down under 10 minutes, and if it goes over 10 minutes, that means there's something very, very important. But of course, my page is mainly for comedy purposes and a parody. And if you have any questions, y'all beautiful aliens, uh, archeons, ship shafters, all you negative and positive energies out there and in between, okay, who can understand my message and the speed of my voice and the power of my knowledge. <laughs> Welcome to my page, okay. I monitor all video views, comments, insults, and also questions. If it's a wise question, it should be put down below. I check all my emails. I check all my uh, comments. So, okay. This video is going to be about love is a business. Okay. Or, and also, I'm going to talk about the passport. Okay. So, business is a passport. Business is everything. Everything has a condition. And so, since everything has a condition, it is called a business. A trade okay, in which nothing is given for free unless there is pity involved. <laughs> now, okay, I got my passport, okay, because I needed to learn a new business rather than just dealing with low minded females I was dealing with, you know what I'm saying? So I, I eventually come to learn of how to get my passport, okay? All intellectual, truly intellectual people has a passport of some sort to move about in another country. I, however, lived in Ethiopia for two years, unlike most of you, okay, black men, okay, which really don't leave their own state, okay, or their own city, okay, but it costs about 130 something dollars, okay, you need, to, you need to know a little bit about the history of your parents a little bit, but that's about it, not that much, you know, you need to investigate each continent that you would like to visit, and you must do a Google map and all that other stuff, but business is related to everything. Everything has conditions to it, okay? Just like my wife, you know, when I met to meet her, she believed that everything is is most likely about love because she's kind of naive or, or, or unknowledgeable about the things that she should know, okay? But love is just a four-letter word. But the word translated is actually a business. You have to work together to work together, okay? You understand that? Okay, so nothing is given for free, okay? So if she don't do as I say, I can do other things. If you don't, if she don't, if I don't do things for her, then she may get on my nerve a little bit more like a child, okay? You know what I'm saying? Everything has a condition to it. There's nothing, even, even air itself has a condition to exist, just in the state of it is. A rock exists because it's in the condition it is. Everything has a condition. So this video may be called the condition of the business of love. The condition of the business of love. Because I like to make my shit completely abstract. I like my Ebonics to be sound confusing as hell compu and, 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 and puzzling to, the person, uh, to a person who thinks they know everything, who thinks they're a scholar, who can't understand me, who don't even listen to rap. I don't mind if you don't listen to rap. I don't really care. Okay. But other than that, I think heavy metal is the hardest shit that you can never listen to. Heavy metal. I listen to that shit too, you white boys. <laughs> the devil. The devil. I should be a fucking rock star. You know what I'm saying? I got some nice ass flow and stuff. Music with that. It's crazy evil music. You want to hear evil music? You go heavy metal, baby. Heavy metal all the way towards the rock side. Okay, not the rap. That talks about reality. Bitches and hoes. Bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Okay. But you got to understand something, y'all. That business is everything. Condition is everything. Okay. Love is just a full little word unless it's proven. Now, there's different, like, there's different types of love. Don't get me wrong. I, I've made a video of my monthly this is an this one about different types of love. Platinum love, silver love, gold love, copper love, bronze love. You know what I'm saying? Which most people are on the silver and the bronze. You know what I'm saying? You know, but you got to understand something. When someone really cares about you, there's conditions that's put in place. You understand? Did you hear what I said? There are conditions that are put in place. So there will be no laws being broken. Once the laws being broken, a, a lack of due respect has to come into play. Kind of like a pimp who slaps his hoe, but you can do it in a more uh, professional way. You can take things out. Okay, you can eliminate things because you know you have the upper hand. You know what I'm saying? You know, women disappear every day because of running their run in their mouth and not realizing the quality they have, rather than just between what's in their legs. Okay, 
You know what I'm saying? It's it's not about that, y'all ladies. Y'all gotta have some more some more to come to the table with, rather than just opening your legs and creating children. You gotta have something in common with that man. So to, in order to balance things out with compatibility, a condition must take an effect. Okay, it is wiser to be more subservient than to be combative. Okay, and these days black women are definitely not interested in being uh, subservient to any man at all, unless that man got some money. Like I said in my past video, I told you. The more sexier a female is, the more, no matter Milano, white, whatever, okay? Predominantly white women, they usually are more nicer. When you, when you go to another country to white women, they are very docile, very nice. But you got to understand the side effects with them with white women, okay? But as I said before, everything comes with a goddamn condition. It comes with a goddamn condition, y'all. It comes with a condition. For every deep female I've dealt with in the past, I always said that there's a condition with dealing with me. If we want to stay together, you got to either keep in touch. I, I'm not going to be calling you all like that. You got to call me, okay? You got to keep in touch with me if you want knowledge from me or if you want to laugh. You want some happiness. Because I don't do sipping. I do things on out, out, of, out of sheer love or you want to call it a condition. What is the condition? What are you going to give me for what I do for you? Right? That's how it should work. Okay, if you don't want to do nothing for me, then I can't do shit for you. You give me a little bit of something, I give you two times as much. So you give me a little, I give you a little bit more, twice as much. You give me one thing negative, I give you two bad, that bad things. That, that teaches you a lesson a little quicker. Because my wife know about that, how I am. I'm a very conditional person. I'm not a strict person. I got my own pet peeves. Everybody got their own pet peeves, baby. Now, if you be with me, you ain't going to be socializing with a whole bunch of niggas and, and socializing with a whole bunch of cousins or going places by yourself. You can't do that. The only place you're going by yourself is at work. And you can't even have sex in the bathroom. I I, I can smell a pussy a mile away. <laughs> I'm not stupid. Okay? You think I'm stupid? Okay. Shut up. I can tell. I can tell all sorts of crazy shit. If if somebody does some shit, you know, I just go to a gynecologist and ask him a fucking question. Okay. Ask him a question. How can I tell if my woman is cheating on me? Okay. Right? Do y'all guys ever do that? Do y'all guys ever go to the gynecologist and learn and get an education on how to check, how to know? If your woman's already peeing on somebody else's penis, <laughs> I guess you don't, okay? You got to think of other things outside the box, outside the box. You don't really have to chase after your woman, okay? Everything does come in a condition. If you sense something wrong, you got to check her, okay? If you, if you, if you even feel something wrong, you got to tell her how you feel, and then you got to make sure you investigate, because if you don't investigate, your ass is grass, okay? <laughs> Yeah, my wife don't like me talking too much about penises and, 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 and clits and pussies and shit. She don't like that shit. She think I'm ruining our reputation or something like that. But she don't understand. I'm a comedian. I've been doing this before I even met her. Okay? <laughs> but do I listen to her? Nah, sometimes. But I, I always do my research before I ever start running my mouth anyway. Just trying to help the public. Okay. She just gets scared in this country. Because she, she knows her country is already cursed because of me but now she cursed she kind of cursed in this this country because this curse this country is going to be cursed if hillary clinton gets elected <laughs> i don't give a fire monkey's ass if the trump is a man okay and any woman that gets in presidents of this country we all going to hell in a handbasket <laughs> all right, I, i'm not a chauvinist don't get me wrong i think a woman can run this country too but i got a lot of predictions a lot of people told me it's not wise for the country to be uh run by a woman, okay, I'm not being a chauvinist when I say it, or, or a sexist, okay, you know, but I'm just telling you like it is, okay, there's a lot of prophecies, okay, I'm just worried about the prophecies, okay, and on the mystical side, like the pseudoscience side, okay, peace and love to you brothers and sisters of light and dark, it's almost already 10 minutes already, what a beautiful life this is, thank you very much for listening to my goddamn videos, condition leads to business, and it can equal to love. Or you can mix it out in any old way you want to. Peace.